good evening uh it's been a while and uh today i am honored to actually have you in my session and i'm just thinking about the horrific uh, domestic violence cases in my nation kenya i'm thinking about the rising cases of suicide and today i just want to thank you friend and especially uh, the counselors and psychologists from Kiambu County for believing in me and give me a vote as the chairperson of Kenya Counseling and Psychological Association in the county. I believe we shall work together. I believe we shall serve together. I believe we shall have partners. I believe the leadership of Kiambu County is going to come on board, especially the government, the health sector, the social and development sector, the public health and the local administration, the teachers, that is the education docket, and every uh, other member or uh, citizen of Kiambu County so that we can work together and fight all the evils and the guilts that have come with COVID-19 pandemic stressors. So today I just want to talk about uh, being able to live and to cope with negative emotions like anger, guilt, fear, anxiety, and hurt. Because right now when you think about many people that are fighting, many people that are becoming violent, very many people that are dying by suicide, it means that they experience these overwhelming negative emotions, but they do not know how to cope with them. And that's why some of them are resorting to violence. And today I can talk a little bit about anger as one of the worst emotions that can escalate into rage. And the minute somebody is enraged, then it's so easy for them to harm themselves and harm another person. How do you stay calm with anger? How do you befriend anger? I would like to talk about you becoming aware that you are angry. An angry person first and foremost perceives the world or a relationship they are in as unfair. They are bitter, they are resentful, they are frustrated, they are disappointed. Name all the small, big emotions associated with anger until it becomes rage. And at this point, you find some people, when they get very angry, they can scan that in the body if they become mindful. There's those who say, I feel anger in my heart, in my chest. I feel anger in my mind, in my brain. I feel anger in my stomach. I feel anger in my fists. I feel anger in my shoulders. It's important to say where it is in your body because that minute that you're able to locate that anger in your body, then you will say you are getting in touch with it. And if you have this small education I'm giving you right now, you can befriend that anger, that anger inside of me i'm feeling like harming myself i'm feeling like harming somebody else i'm feeling like damaging something you know because we have seen people damage property we have seen people make hasty decisions we have seen road accidents because people are angry they are enraged we have seen murder cases we have seen all sorts of human atrocities that are built out of anger and so you can tell anger within your body, I will not run away from your anger. I want to befriend you because you are an emotion that the human race experiences world over. And I am going to stay with you, difficult as you may be. And you can just relax within that breath. And for those people that feel that this emotion is too overwhelming, you can calm it with that breath of life that all of us share. And you can breathe in and breathe out. You can breathe in and out. 
Notice it's breathing in using your nostril and out using your mouth. Notice the rising and the falling of your chest as you breathe in and as you breathe out. You can close your eyes like I have done, fully or partially, as you feel safe. Because there are people who close their eyes and they feel unsafe or more anxious. It is okay if you can open them. You can also get into the habit of, uh, if you have soft objects like this ball, you can squeeze it. And that can release some of the anger, the tension. Because anger is tension that is inbuilt, very strong, that can destroy. Or if you have small, maybe um, balls, stress balls, I call them, that you can actually uh, press like I'm doing and releasing. And also when you're doing your breathing, you can find that your body as you release you exhale your breath you can find that you are feeling which parts of your body have tension and that is also a way of distracting you from what could be making you angry because when i put my concentration on this ball my attention comes here but if I'm angry at my child, I'm angry at my spouse, and I divert to something else, it means my attention is no longer on them. And so if they are my source of anger, that diffuses the negative energy. And that is why in the African traditional setting, men have always been known to walk away. The minute you keep quiet, and you're mindful, and you have the normal breath, and that emotion is being softened within you, just like the way an ice cube melts because of heat, you can allow that emotion to melt within you. And you will be so amazed when you realize that the universe, the world around you, is full of calmness and peace. That within you, you can activate that by just allowing yourself to be mindful of what is going on within you. And you might be shocked that you're becoming calmer and calmer and calmer. Your muscles are relaxing moment by moment. And you will equally be shocked to learn that. If you're so enraged and you're so angry, you're either thinking about things that happened in the past or things that you imagine are going to happen in future. And mostly those are your fears and your worries. But when you press this soft ball, right now I can feel my fingers here. And my attention is all here. In the moment, right now, I'm living in the present. And I can take in more breath if I wish. I know most people may not have soft balls like these ones, but you can use your hands. Clench them, release them. Clench, release them. If you can't walk away, if you can't do anything, if you're in a safe environment, just use your breath. And in that way, the negative emotions that overwhelm you within, and today we've talked about anger. Name it.
scan it within your body allow it to soften allow it to be within your body it will go and you it's not been a coward it's about being resilient and tolerant and when you do this more and more often it becomes your lifestyle and that is gonna be your way of life and so even when you get angry that anger will not take the better of you because you are taking one moment at a time you're living in the present moment living within your own breath right now and befriending any negative emotion like anger next time we are going to talk about the emotion of guilt thank you god bless you thank you so much for keeping me company always and thank you for subscribing